thank you so much for tuning in today. As you know, it is BHM Pattern Designer Sewing Challenge, the month of February. So I know everybody is working feverishly behind the scenes, right? Getting your makes together, be it garment, handbags, wallets, totes, all of the good things, crochet, knitting, embroidery, yes. If you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a sewing challenge that I host every single year. This is year six, can you believe it? And so I will leave a link to the website down in the description box if you're wondering, black pattern designers, who are they? There's commercial uh, patterns as well as indie. I have a list on my website. Go check that out and make sure you're following over on Instagram, Facebook, all of the things. Um, real quick, the entry rules. Do not forget, you must, and I'll pop them up here. You must tag at So Natural Dane, at BHM Pattern Designers, and use the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers in your post in order for it to count over on Instagram. So this sewing challenge is an Instagram sewing challenge, but obviously for those who have YouTube and other platforms, they can share pretty much anywhere they want, but you are tagging over on Instagram. Every, all your entries are through Instagram. Okay. Okay. So thank you again, everybody for tuning in today. This is my, you, if you saw my plans video, if you did not, I'll leave that in the I cards, but this is the fabric that I talked about. I didn't talk about the pattern, but obviously it's in the title. I am sewing the, or I have made the Garfield pajamas by I just call her Kadia because I don't, <laughs> I'm kind of shortening it. Forgive me because I don't want to mispronounce um, <laughs> her name or the pattern company in full, but Kadia. Um, Le, Le Lube de Kadia. Uh, I know, I know, bad. Don't eat me up in the comments. But anyway, these are the Garfield pajamas. And this is what I want to do, something different. I told you guys, usually for my birthday reveal, which was on the 7th, you saw that video the other day. I actually posted because I hadn't finished this um, at that time. Well, in time to post, I should say, on that day. This is like a few days later you know, when I'm doing all this recording and everything, trying to stay up on my record schedule. But anyway, um, at the time, it wouldn't have been finished for me to present it on Wednesday. And so in that particular video, so I know this is coming a couple days later um, or a few days later, I can't remember. But anyway, so this is the PJs that um, I want to present to you. Typically, I always do a, a dress or something like that for my birthday, but I wanted something different. And I'll tell you why. And if you see Lady Dane over here, she is wearing already my first make of this month, which is Know Me 2002 full review. That was a collab with Miss Talisha from Creativity by T. But so that's what this is. Go check that video out if you want to hear all about it. But I want to do something different for a couple different reasons. So um, in traveling recently where we stayed with family, I uh, when we were just hanging out and everything around the house, I would have loved to have something more like this entire uh, uh, outfit um, to kind of hang around because it's family, but you still kind of want to be put together without having on a full outfit and so when I was hanging out I always had on like a full outfit and I'm like man I need some real nice just lounge you know PJs or whatever that's still cute and everything <laughs> so pretty much that's why I created this and plus you know we'll be doing some more family traveling soon and so these will definitely come in handy because quite honestly this is not the type of thing I sit around and wear on my own around the house. I usually wear t-shirt and shorts. That's just me around the house. But traveling and stuff like that, this entire set works beautifully. So the Garfield pajamas. So you do have the option of doing pants or shorts. I decided to do the shorts um, because I don't wear, I just never wear pajama pants ever. So, <laughs> but shorts, I can totally kick it in some shorts and everything like that. That's more up my speed. Um, and then you can do long or short sleeves. You all know I'm not a long sleeve person so far as if I'm 
out wearing the top or something it has to be quarter three quarter lengths here at the elbow or short sleeve or sleeveless me doing anything all the way down to my wrist is usually not my thing um that i tend to uh, navigate towards so let me give you the quick deets on this and then i'll show you a few close-ups and of course i'll pop up a video with me in it but this is fabric i've had in my stash i'm gonna come up a little bit here too so you can see it this is all fabric from my stash this is a it's definitely a polyester i french seamed everything um you guys this thing ravels so much and oh i had to keep using a pressing cloth to try to get a good lay on the collar and different things like that i will say if you can see these buttons absolutely perfect weren't these buttons perfect so these buttons came from the stash um the bernina sewing machine that um i uh, received this year you all saw that video um and it was like a million buttons. And so I went through the buttons and I found these and I thought this was absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And so with that, um, the, I had like, Ooh, I want to say I had like five yards of this fabric and I used about maybe three for everything so I still have like two yards of this fabric left um, but it's from my stash I can't link to it or anything like that but I've had it in my stash a good six to eight years because I know I had this before moving to Texas and we've been in here about eight years so maybe longer than nine years nine ten years maybe so I finally got to use it I did French seam everything on the top I did cheat on the shorts though because I, maybe I was just over French seaming and binding everything um, so maybe that's uh what that was because by the time I got to the shorts we won French seaming but I did French seam and I bias bound everything in this top I'll flip it inside out so you can see it um but uh because I did use binding on the facings on the inside but I'll show you that um and so what I can say about this uh, pattern, super easy to put together. Uh, the instructions are both in French and in English. And obviously you can choose the English version, right? And so that's what I did. <laughs> I picked the English version, the sizing. I went with the sizing based on the um, uh, garment, me the finished garment measurements and that was a 54 so the size pack i have is size 48 50 52 54 56 and so when you go out to the website to um look at the size pattern you do have the option i feel like you're a little off here there we go you do have the option to select your size right and um that is based on the measurements and everything so based on the measurements mentioned for this particular pattern and on the finished garment measurement the size 54 worked best for me for the type of ease i wanted so as you can see you know there's no there's movement obviously for pjs you want it's at least for me i don't know everybody can be different i need i want movement nothing needs to be tight uh you know i do this i don't need anything tight on my back or feeling like i can't sit down and don't have enough spread so for me it needed to be have enough room for me to do all of that sit down everything like that right and so um it definitely has that fit my current measurements full bust is 45 waist is at 39 and my hip is at 52 so for me the 54 which um it's a 58 and one fourth for no is that right oh okay so here was the thing that was a little weird about the sizing so when it gets to the uh finished garment measurement it says for the top bust waist and hip it just says 58 and one fourth it doesn't break down the finished garment for the bust finished garment for the waist finished garment for the hip so for me based on the hip measurement um up above i somewhere in there is where the finished garment measurements fit that i felt fit in when i measured myself based on my measurements and based on what the pattern said so that part might have been just a little confusing when thinking about 
well, what's the finished garment measurement specifically for the bust, specifically for the waist, specifically for the hip. So I categorized it that it's between seven um, and eight inches of ease in there. And so, and based on that and how it fits, and you'll see in the video, that was uh, my best guesstimation um, with that. Um, I can say one of the things is for the sleeve, there was a sleeve band that you're to put here. I totally forgot about the sleeve band while I was sewing it up. It actually ended up because I, I used the binding on the facings on the inside. I just, I had already bound the ends of my sleeve. So I didn't even bother with that sleeve piece, even though I did cut it out. So that's, you know, no big deal there. Plus I still like where it hits. So if the sleeve piece would have added an additional two inches in length on the sleeve. I actually prefer this instead, um, as opposed to it being even longer. Cause it doesn't need to be that long on me for, um, for a PJ top. And then for the, I can say by the time I got to the shorts, I just pretty much I didn't really, I didn't look at the instructions for that because they're just simple shorts. It's only two um, pattern pieces for the bottom. It's the front and back because you fold over the top in order to make the, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, casing for your elastic. And so this is, here are my shorts here. Absolutely love. And this is, let me hold this up. See, look at that. Ooh. That is so pretty. And one of the things is, so here's what I did. I put a strip of, <laughs> this is hem tape that you can, um, it's hem tape. So you can just press this on to any garment. And that's what I did. I just pressed it back here just so I remember this was the back. And um, because initially I was going to put uh, my um, label back there, my BHM pattern designers label back there and actually totally forgot. And so I was like, okay because i would have rather sewed that on um before you know doing all of that but that's okay um no big deal but i absolutely love it like i said the inside of the shorts i just i'll just flip them uh inside out i just surged it i well i stitched and then i surged so i stitched everything first then i surged as extra reinforcement and as you can see this is one and a half inch elastic and I put the elastic through and then um, just stitched through the middle because I like the way that looks and um, obviously it, I don't think it would have turned anyway if I didn't do that but one of the things I did do a little different this time when I added this elastic because one thing I will say about this fabric this stuff is shifty oh it was getting on my nerves it was so shifty and that's why I French went down the route of French semen and adding all the bias binding um, not only does it give it a beautiful look in the end but this fabric oh my gosh was so shifty and it grew um like you looked at it and it was growing but one of the things i did do when i laid the elastic down as i was stitching this down what i did was lay the elastic down fold this over and i just stitched and i kept moving the elastic because what i want because this shifted so much i didn't want my um this top part to be wonky like one one piece uh laying weird than the other so i just took my time and i just slid the elastic through folded the fabric over slid as i was stitching and just stitched all the way around and when i got back to the back um i pulled all the elastic back out um because i wasn't stitching the elastic down at that time i was just using it as a guide so i made sure this tunnel was absolutely perfect all the way around because the fabric shifted so much and I, that was my first time doing that and i actually liked that i was like oh maybe i'll do that on future um projects that calls for elastic as well um and again i only did that because this fabric was so shifty it grew and um so that's what i did and i absolutely love how um it turned out and i love how uh it looks so this was my first project through um Kadia patterns um and i will say i love her instruction she has a youtube channel and for her uh 
I couldn't remember for this particular uh, project because it's really easy, but um, she do have sew alongs on her YouTube channel. So um, if there is a particular project or something like that um, that you see on her website, she has the video linked so you can go watch it um which is really nice it's really nice when that is offered up by pattern designers especially for people who are new to their patterns and trying to figure out you know their uh their techniques and different things that they use and stuff like that so that is really nice um i do highly recommend the pattern only because i thought it was for me, it was something that was missing out of my uh, wardrobe, something like this. And again, it's because I learned my lesson <laughs> and I know we're going to do some more family traveling and having some family time like that. And so I wanted something like this um, in my stash. I would say putting together this collar and everything. And like I said, I did buttons. So yes, my buttonholes are in. Everything, all of that worked beautifully on my machine. I use a separate machine to do my buttonholes. I use my brother SE 400 that's only set up to do buttonholes and to do any embroidery that I want to do but mainly I just do uh, buttonholes on that machine so buttonholes and everything went in beautifully so it is fully functional I can button it unbutton it and I was so happy I had the right um buttons in my stash i'll pop up a few pictures here in video so you can kind of see me in the full um pajama set but like i said i highly recommend i always like trying um new pattern designers black pattern designers and so yeah she was one of the newer designers i added to my uh to the bhm pattern designers page and so i'm very happy with how this turned out i love the way it looks i love the feel the instructions i felt were uh easy to follow i wasn't confused about anything like I said by the time I got to the shorts I didn't even look at the instructions because I put these together oh I don't even think I mentioned the bottom of the shorts I also use the binding so even though I didn't fr French seam the shorts I did put the binding um, at the bottom and for the top I just I turned the bottom under twice so, oh, oh, actually you can see the facing here. Here's the facing. I did the binding on the facing. Um, and I did that all the way up. So I guess I don't have to take this off. <laughs> um, cause that's how it is all the way up. And so, yeah, the time to put this together is probably, well, if you're doing the top and the, uh, shorts, like I did, it took me probably, you can do it in a day. It was broken up over a couple days for me. Um, and then it took me a little bit longer only because I did French seam this whole thing. Um, even the, uh, except for, I don't think I French seam the sleeves. No, I actually did bias binding on the sleeve. So here's the sleeve. That's, that's what I did. I did bias binding on the sleeve. Um, oh, and the reason I did that I almost forgot the reason I put bias binding on the sleeve is because you have to ease you're supposed to ease in the sleeve um gather it in uh and all of that and so I wasn't doing that I sewed it in flat and I just kind of eased it in that way because I knew I wanted to do the since I was doing French seams I didn't want to break up the process of my French seam because I wanted to go all the way down like this as opposed to putting in the sleeve and all of that so I can sew all of this uh, French seam down together at the same time that's what I did so um, that's what I end up doing and that's why I decided to do bias binding for the inside and so let me take it off real quick and show you the inside okay went in through on a tank so i can show you this so this is the inside so as you can see the sleeve is completely um bound everything is french seamed as you can tell and then this is the facing can you see that the facing so the binding i know it's all pretty much the same color right and it's buttoned but that's the binding on the top. So yeah, that is it. All right, <laughs> I had to remember to say that. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, you should have seen video and pictures. I absolutely love the way it looks. I love how comfortable it is. And I do highly recommend if you are looking for some nice PJs and you want to uh, support a black pattern designer, 
go check out Kadia. I'll leave a link to the uh, pattern down in the description box. And don't forget, I am collaborating with some lovelies here on YouTube and over on Instagram. All of their handles and their information is down in the description box below. But stay tuned for the next long form video, which you'll see on Sunday. That will be coming up. So stay locked and loaded. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. You all have a blessed, blessed rest of your week and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.